VT GT one source one commitment we started in 1971 making mining transformers over the years through our hard work we establish ourselves as supplier of medium power transformers and today we supply a full scope of power transformers ranging from 1 MVA to 1400 MVA up to 500 kV we supply power transformers across all markets utilities industrial commercial oil and gas renewables we can now claim ourselves to be nation's second largest business in terms of capacities and third in revenues we supply large medium and small power transformers through four factories located in north america roanoke virginia Pocatello, Idaho, Rincon, Georgia, and Chihuahua, Mexico. Our Rincon, Georgia plant, we call GTC, can supply a range from 69 kV to 500 kV. The plant is optimized for 30 MVA and above, though. Our Pocatello VTCU can supply 230 kV and below, and Roanoke VTCR can supply 138 kV and below. Our Chihuahua plant is dedicated to small power. Here is another view of our full scope. Now you saw our exponential growth. We believe that the key to our success is our value proposition and our commitment to it. Provide the most reliable transformers shipped and installed in timely manner and serviced and monitored to last for more than 60 years. Now, a reliable transformer requires a robust design and its flawless execution. And a robust design requires an extraordinary engineering team. And in this presentation, we're going to focus on our engineering capabilities. Outstanding engineering requires outstanding engineers. Experienced, qualified, sharp, hardworking, and quite a few of them. Just to give you an idea of our bench strength, we have a combined experience of over 150 years in 500 kV design class and close to 300 years in 230 kV and below class. Now, here is our engineering organization, pretty flat. The idea is to have open communications in all directions. Uh, let me give you a few samples of our engineering experience. For example, Rogelio. Rogelio is our engineering manager at Rincon Large Power. He has over 32 years of experience from 10 different technologies of power transformers, GE Prolec, Ferranti Packard, Siemens, and so on. Another one, Shaker, Shaker Vora. Shaker has close to 13 years of experience in designing large power transformers like autos, GSU, substation, and shunt reactors up to 500 kV. In his previous position, uh, he worked for a global transformer company, CG. Now, good engineers require sophisticated, sharp engineering design tools. Actually, we have two sets of tools, design tools and simulation tools. Design tools are used to develop a detailed design, and simulation tools are used to fine-tune, optimize the main designs to make them more reliable. We have two very powerful design tools, Corvette 3 for large power and VTCW for medium power. Both these programs are proprietary and evolved and proven over 40 to 50 years. Then we have numerous simulation tools. Some of them are homegrown and some of them are off the shelf. These are very sophisticated analytic tools. I want to talk more about these tools. 
I will give you two examples. Corret 3. Corret is our flagship for large part design. As indicated, this program has evolved over 50 years. Typically, the inputs to Corvette come from customer specifications. Voltages, MVA, BIO, impedance, weights and dimension limitations, loss evaluations, etc. Corvette then spits out a complete design. Limpage, limb heights, types of windings, number of turns, impedance, losses, short circuit forces, temperatures. This is a very powerful design tool. And within this tool, there are numerous embedded subprograms. For example, RNM calculates leakage flux. Glanagher performs high frequency analysis. Shunt develops calculations for magnetic shields for tanks and support beams. Interesting point about Corvette is that it not only develops the design, but it has some boundary conditions built in. Uh, those boundary conditions will ensure that the design is on right track and closer to the manufacturing capabilities. So you simply can't go wrong with Corvette. Let me also talk about a simulation tool, a very powerful simulation tool, Seitlinger. Uh, this is also a homegrown tool from FSEC developed to check the limits of the design in terms of voltage stresses. Again, there are sub-programs within Seitlinger. MSFT, calculates magnetic stray fields in core form transformers and based on stray flux densities calculates eddy current losses and short circuit forces for various load cases. Another sub-program TA tab actually searches for voltage stresses in different parts of the transformer. So we have Corette and VTCW for design. Anderson, ANSYS, Electro, Maxwell, these are simulation tools to calculate and check short circuit forces, eddy losses, stray losses, and then Seitlinger we talked about to check impulse voltage distribution, winding insulation stress, etc. Sapperton is another one for thermal analysis. And then for Mechanical design, we have several mechanical design tools. AutoCAD, Autodesk. One notable feature of our ANSYS is that it checks the fluid flow through cooling ducts to ensure proper cooling. With good engineers and good tools, one needs an engineering process to make sure that there is perfect coordination between various groups, electrical, mechanical, controls, and at the end, manufacturing. At VTCGT, we use a five-step process. Step one, it's a conceptual design. A conceptual design is developed first. Then comes second step. It's a handshake agreement between three groups, electrical, mechanical, controls, while sales is also part of this step. The detailed designs are then developed by each group, and now comes step four. Hey, is this design buildable, manufacturable? What's the impact on manufacturing? The entire engineering team now sits down with the manufacturing technicians to come to a consensus on this design. Now, before releasing it to the full floor, the entire team will discuss with actual shop floor supervisors who have a physical feel for this design based on their years of experience. This is when the final design is officially released. So, conceptual, detailed, and finally released to the floor. We're going to conclude our presentation with our design philosophy. Westinghouse and GE are the pioneers of power transformers. Our designs are based on these two fundamental technologies. Every unit is custom design based on customer specification and requirements using proprietary design programs. 
After initial design, safety factors are added to account for manufacturing tolerances and more importantly, to minimize the risk of failures. These safety factors are based on over 40 years of experience. Now, overcompensating will result in inefficient, expensive designs, and obviously going the other way will increase the risk of failures. Designs are checked using sophisticated analytical simulators to identify stress concentrations. Designs are then fine-tuned to distribute these stresses to further minimize the risks. In addition, over 12,000 archive designs are leveraged to benchmark new designs. Finally, we believe in sharing our knowledge and expertise to educate and guide our customers in the right direction. We want to thank you for viewing and listening to this presentation. We hope you give us an opportunity to serve you. And thanks again.